Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Last time we got to Heliopolis. Heliop Heliopolis. And talked to this very unhappy man. But, uh, yeah. So, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna go find Anubis. Go find Anubis. I don't have an item for this. A la an image of a large bird is painted on this structure. Ooh, pretty. Large birds, you know. Uh, don't you know? Don't you know? So, as you can see, we can't even go across this because we can't jump high enough. Darn it! Dag nabbit! But what we can do is go in here! Delicious blue water. Highly chlorinated. And steaming. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> well, look who it is. Sphinx, there you are. I knew that we would meet again. As you can see, I heroically managed to survive in Uruk. Well, I won't bore you with the details. You got lucky in Uruk. And by rights, that blade should be mine. You would never have found it without my help. What? Yet again, you credit yourself with greater skill than you possess. You can't get up here. You don't even have the power to jump high enough. Your weakness is pathetic. I found Emotep in the temple on Sunshine Island. That crazy old fool told me he was looking for you. As you can see, you can't even get inside. I will solve the problem that Anubis has created by myself. Despite what Emotep says. See you around. Smell you later, Ash. Jeez. I mean, really. I mean, really. I mean, really. So I can't jump high enough yet. Um. Yeah, that's a problem. Hello, armadilly. Armadil, dill, 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 pickle. Why don't you melt this, man? It looks like it might burn. Oh, like that? Ow, I was on top of it. You got the eagle stone. Uh, this charm stone allows you to summon a great eagle when stood at its uh, special points. O'Reilly. I know just the point. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so happy. It's Friday when I'm recording this, so it's gonna be like Saturday when I put it up. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, weekends are good. Weekends are very good. Especially the weekend that comes right after you get back from school, or to school from Thanksgiving break. Oh man, it's like, I know what I've been missing, you know? Okay. Anyway, here, let's do it. Eagle stone. Oh, Jesus! Um. I didn't want to be some bird's meal, I'll tell you that. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, birdie. That actually got us past these, ah, uh, ah, uh, posts of, what are they? Raw or something? Posts of raw. Something. Anyway, they shoot lasers. You don't want to run in front of those. No, you do not. No, you do not. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Can't believe I didn't make that. That was crazy. Okay, so we got an obelisk up there. Let's go check that out. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Here you get what? Oh boy. I can't read Egyptian. Anyway, so yeah, we'll have to do that later. And there's a rock sitting on a piece of wood. Cool. Go, eagle, go! Yeah, these birds basically carry us around these posts. Otherwise, we can't even get around. There's a treasure up there? I don't know if I've ever gotten that. I don't know how to do it. Can you climb this? No. Well, geez, I don't know. I don't know how to get that. Uh, okay, some rocks. And... I bet there's exploding things in there. And what are you? Ah! Oh my god! This is just uh, like a monkey skull. I don't, I don't know what this is. The eye socket of the stone statue is empty. 
As are its nasal passages. Hmm. Maybe he's a picker. He's a picker. And then what is this? To Bedouin Outpost. Warning, strong swimmers only. I'm not that strong of a swimmer, actually. Not yet. <laughs> and look how cool Anubis' place is. So sweet. I'd love to live there. Come on out, buddy. Yeah, that's it. Hop over this way, frogman. Oh, gross. Put that away. Dapsy dapsy. These borders look cracked and fragile. Oh. Boom bubble pa? No? No, no, wrong way, dude. Wrong way. Where'd you go? Uh. Drop. Thank you. Ooh, your baby knew what to do. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the butt. Looky, looky, where we are now. On the other side of the beach, beach, beach. And, uh, oh, hello. Wow. Ahoy there! You look like someone who relishes a physical challenge. An important attribute in these dark and dangerous times. I am the best swimmer in Heliopolis. I'm definitely better than all those weaklings from Abydos. I've perfected my technique on a training course in the sea between South Beach and Sunshine Island. You think you can complete my training course? <sighs> sure. Very well. Would you like to hear the rule? Not really. Wishing you luck seems pointless, but good luck anyway. Red circle. circle. So basically, we have to swim to all these um, checkpoints. And uh, unlike every other checkpoint swimming through game I've ever played, these don't follow a logical pattern. They're kind of zigzagged all over the place, which is really weird. Like, look, look at this. What is that, man? And they gotta go back. <laughs> like, there's no indicator that tells you you gotta turn around. Like, come on. Do 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 do. Don't touch those fish. They will poke you in the face. Whew, how am I remembering where to go? I, had, I haven't played this in a while. It's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Uh, whoa. See, that was tricky. That was tricky. I did it, you fool. Ah, very impressive, my friend. Few people have what it takes to complete my training course. Because you managed to complete the course in only 62 seconds. I want to give you this gift. An Abydosian swimmer gave it to me a long time ago. Of course, I never use it. I can swim fast enough without the aid of silly magical trinkets. You got crocodile scales. This ancient artifact allows you to swim underwater at great speed. Sweet. If you want to try it again and attempt to beat your time, let me know. I don't really want to. Thanks for the offer, though. Appreciate your enthusiasm. You found an Atunai! It looks like it would fit into an eye of socket of a statue of some kind. Oh, really? Okay. Hello. Hi. My husband is worried about Heliopolis. I can't blame him. It has become a dark, oppressive place. Whoa. Greetings, welcome to Heliopolis. Allow me to introduce my beautiful wife, Keta. Who are you? You didn't even introduce yourself. You didn't find introduce Keta. It's a weird name, Keta. Ket, Keta, Ket, 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 Ket. So here's another one of these statues. We actually need a lot of these eyes. Um, and I haven't collected them all in my other files, so I don't know where they all are. I'll just put this one in here. I don't know. Boop. Look at that. It's freaky, man. Look at that eye. Mm. Anyway, let's stop getting distracted and swim to sun whatever aisle. Woo! Look how fast he swims underwater now. This is so awesome. 
I feel like a Zora. I feel like a Zora. And the lighting makes him look naked, but he's not. I'm pretty sure he... <laughs> At least I hope he's not. Monkey! Did you guys ever watch, um... Dexter's Laboratory? Laboratory? Why did I say laboratory? I never say laboratory. Anyway, yeah, like the monkey cartoon. And then, and then in that one episode, there's that guy that's like chanting monkey because monkey got beaten up. And he's like, monkey, monkey. And then you can see his nostril like flare up. And he has this huge nostril. I <laughs> Monkey! 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 I don't know why that... I just remember that for some reason. Sphinx, it is good to see you again, my friend. You have faced many deadly... Many deadly dangers and challenges. It is clear to me that you are no longer an inexperienced apprentice. Ah, I see that you now have the shield of Osiris. What a perfect companion for the blade of Osiris. I agree, they... Of Osiris, you know. Good set bonus there. Wielding these is a fine achievement indeed, for they will serve you well in your coming adventure. Horus has already been here, but he would not wait for you. His impatience is equal to your enthusiasm. Seems that you have been busy on your voyage. That Knopic vase is a most interesting artifact. It has been many years since I have seen one like this, but I might still be able to help release the soul that is trapped inside. I see a place far to the north inside a castle in the land of Inferno, the land of Uruk. Aha! I see the Prince of Luxor, Tutankhamun. His body lies within the castle of Uruk. Once revived, he could be very useful. Nobody has ever managed to get inside. I have an ominous feeling about the events there. No living thing can travel beyond the fierce protection of the castle. We will need to send a magical entity. This basket is perfect. Nobody will suspect a thing. By the power of Osiris and steal this basket, but I didn't read it all. There he is. It's a living basket. Cool. That's pretty, pretty sweet. I like his shoes. He has good Sonic the Hedgehog shoes. Castle of Uruk. Man, look at that. They got like constantly falling meteors. <laughs> oh my god. What a happy place this is. There's Great Aunt Petunia. And there's Tutankhamun. Yeah! A goofy looking basket. Oh my god. He's alive. Worry, I'm not going to bite you. I can't even talk. Or you can't even talk. I'm really sorry. But I only had one canopic vase for you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Basket. I will tell you what I can, but we haven't much time. I doubt you will remember the last thing that happened to you. The treason on your birthday, the bizarre unsettling ceremony performed on you by your brother. <laughs> brother. St silly basket. A hero sphinx interrupted the ceremony, but he was only able to recover one of the vases. This bestows upon you the element of life. But you're still pretty much dead. We'll need the rest of the canopic vases to return you to your original form. You are now in the castle of Uruk. Uruk. <laughs> there isn't much time to explain all the details. But believe me, 
the Holy Church and the helpers in the depths of this forsaken place, we must understand the significance of this evil castle and who is behind all of this. <laughs> I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. You must also investigate the castle and search for any possible clues or objects that could assist in you, us making you human once more. Good God. Farewell, my friend. I will see you soon. Whoa. Um, yeah. So Tutankhamun's probably confused. He just woke up dead and had a whole bunch of demands given to him. That's kind of crazy. I mean, how would he know, like, what the heck the basket's saying is true, you know? It's, who knows? Anyway, yeah, we get to play as the mummy. The mummy parts in this game are actually really fun. And I'm already getting lost. Oh, my God. Oh, this part, however, is not fun. I do not like this part. Oh, boy! Platforming is so bad. Oh my god! Hip dip dip a dirt burp boop. And how did they get how did they get these skeletons in here like this? How do they do it? I don't know. Something about the way Tutankhamun moves works a lot better for the mummy than it does for him. When he's... I, I can make it! Oh. He's, he's like a lanky, lumbering guy that just woke up without his, you know, blood circulating. So, yeah. It, it, suits, it suits the mummy. It does. Oh, look at that. It's the death ray. And, uh... I missed it. This part actually confused me for a bit. <laughs> You're supposed to jump on these spike ball things. And then again. Hit. Yeah. Ah. I made it. Be sure that all the traps are working. I want no doubt in my mind that the castle is impenetrable. That Abado the Abadosian jewels must be protected. If so much as a rat tries to enter the castle, pulverize it. Of course, master. Ado. <laughs> Mum. Okay. So we gotta sneak in where? Over here? Maybe? Yeah, probably. Go, go, go! Run! Run! Aha! I don't know if there's an order to this or if you can do these in any order, but... Uh, you can only do one of these. As far as I know. What? What? So the mummy parts are like really big puzzles. Uh, so I may actually just end this part here. So then next time we will solve this first mummy puzzle. Yep. See you guys next time.